lot number 126 is a 2005 Ford E450. This is a StarCraft make bus. It has seating for 18 passengers and a wheel lift. The bus has been running for over 40 minutes at idle. It's got a 6.8 V10 gasoline engine. The motor sounds good. It's been sitting for over three years and it has old fuel. So once you pour fresh fuel, it'll run smoother. It has a slight misfire, but definitely you can smell the fuel. It's really old. Also, I did notice that the front left caliper is seized. It's locked up from sitting for three years. We tried to move it, as you can see the front tire locked up in the ground, and it's not moving. Let me show you the fender. The fender's rubbing with the door, and you can see right there. The AC in the cab blows ice cold, ice cold right here. It's got cruise control, it's got the ABS light on, it's got 104, 102,000 miles. The interior looks good, all the seats all the passenger seats in the back they look good they're not ripped or torn the ceiling is nice the back ac is not blowing cold it's blowing cool the, the door the entry door on the side is manual you can lock it up right here and lock it up right there manual the driver's seat is the only seat that is torn out of the whole bus okay let me show you the rest there there is some fiberglass cracks the tires have thread, but they may have a flat spot from sitting for so long. Here's the maker, StarCraft. The rear bumper is slightly out of alignment. It must have had a little impact on the right hand side. As you can see, the exhaust is nice and dry. It has the handicap door, uh, the uh, lift, which I was not able to get to work. So you need to check that out. On the top rear, you see the fiberglass trim is cracked. There's a little scar here. The glass is not broken. It's not cracked, but something scraped it hard. The windows look good. The body is good. Here, I did know some ripple in the middle, right there and the, by the entrance. And that's pretty much all it is. That's it. Well, good luck and uh, Remember, you gotta tow it out of here because that front caliper is locking up and no mechanical work on site is allowed. So make sure you find somebody who's qualified to tow this thing out of here. Thank you.